What is up guys? It is June 23rd. It's actually my birthday today. Um, I think it's kind of funny. About a year ago today, I was actually leaving California back for New York and I was, I think, about halfway across the country and uh, on my birthday last year, I was staying at a hotel where there's a pond right next to it and uh, I actually ended up fishing a little bit before my 12 hours on the road that day and catching some, catching some bass. But uh, unfortunately, no bass catching today. I had a full day of work. It's been a crazy day. I had a full day of work, had some errands to run. And then I basically just got home, threw everything into the truck, the kayak in the back of the truck, all my gear, some sleeping stuff, some food, and then made the two hour drive down here to Kelsey Bass Ranch. We are in Snelling, California. This is a private lake that we're gonna be fishing tomorrow for a tournament. It's the Kelsey Bass Ranch Invitational. A uh, pretty unique tournament. Um, but actually, let me let Steve Melander talk to you more about uh, this place and this tournament in particular. Hey guys, Motherload Kayak Angler here. Uh, we're out here at Kelsey Bass Ranch the evening before the big 2017 KBR Kayak Invitational. Uh, so excited about tomorrow's tournament. We got anglers coming in, camping overnight. We're going to get going at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. Hopefully we'll be on the water by 5.30, 6 a.m. And uh, I think there's going to be some big fish caught tomorrow. The weather and pattern this week has been fantastic. Setting up perfect for a topwater bite. Looking for some uh, big numbers coming on the boards and looking for some big fish. Kelsey Bass Ranch is a 125 acre uh, private lake on a uh, 7,000 acre working cattle ranch. The lake was formed many years ago uh, by the Yuba Dredging Company and was used for gold mining and that type of thing. And then ultimately um, is a irrigation lake for this uh, working cattle ranch. Uh, Several decades ago, the uh, Kelsey family planted Florida strain largemouth bass, planted 5,000 a year for three years, so 15,000 total, bluegill, catfish, you name it. And now we've got a fully sustainable uh, population of Florida strain largemouth uh, big fish. Three to five pounds are pretty common, and the current lake record is 16 pounds, 12 ounces. So what, what this is, is we came up with this idea to do something special and be able to get anglers from all over uh, the state and uh, anglers with all different varying levels of experience. So what we did was we invited 10 uh, sponsors to come on board and limited it to 10. The 10 sponsors got to choose one angler to represent their brand. And then what we did is we opened it up for a drawing and pulled 10 anglers from random. They had, a, they had several ways to enter. And then we went through a lottery style and we ended up with 20 anglers that are qualified and uh, fishing tomorrow for some really exciting prizes to include a Kelsey Bass Ranch membership, which are in very limited supply and they will have a year-long membership for themselves and uh, that's a pretty big deal. Good morning guys. It is about 4 a.m. It's early, but who cares? We're on a uh, private bass lake today fishing a tournament. Can't really beat that, so I'm excited. I know everyone else is excited. Should be a good day of fishing. Let's go. Uh, let's go check in and then uh, unload the, the gear and get ready. Hopefully, get out on the water in the next hour or so. That's a good start. I don't know. First cast. They say that's bad luck.
That's a beauty right there. That's a good start right there. Oh my god. Oh. There you go, Dan. Nice one, man. Dude, they're up shallow. <laughs> Dude, I just had a tank come off on my frog. I say little, it's okay. Almost lost that fish. I think if you catch one more 20, you got it. My smallest fish is 17 and 3 quarters. I have a 17 and 3 quarter, an 18 and 3 quarter. All right, so you got 58 and a 3 quarter. And 22 and a half. Well, it's, yeah, it's touching a half part. You got 59, man. If you catch a 20, you're at 62. Or 61 and 3 quarters. Yeah. When I've had tournaments like that, it's like, I get that last big fish with like 30 minutes left. <laughs> it's like it's happened so many times. Like oh, I saw you on one of those tournaments where you you start crunching that right at the end and you yeah. caught, you pulled your fish and you won that tournament. I can't. Yeah, it's happened to me so many times. It's like the last thirty minutes and <laughs> I don't know, man. Giant, but uh, we'll take her. All right, there's a small limit. We need to upgrade. Alrighty, guys, that's a limit. It's about 8:30. Got three fish. Probably have around, I don't know, 50 inches. Definitely need to upgrade two of those fish to have a chance. Someone's uh, the fishing's good today. They're biting. The top water bite was on this morning, and. It's definitely going to take at least 60 inches to, to win today. I'm pretty happy with uh, punching right now in the shallow water, the shallow cover. I think, you know, if I can do this the rest of the day with a few other things in the mix, I can, uh, I'll have a good chance of catching a big one. So let's just keep going. I was throwing a frog probably like everyone else early on in the morning. Uh, I'm doing okay right now. Got a small limit, probably like 48 inches this morning. Started out real good. I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but I got bit on my first cast, 18 and a half inch on a chatterbait. Uh, after that, I started throwing a frog a little bit, and uh, I lost a pretty good one. Um, had another blow up connected with it, and that was like a 16. And uh, I don't know, had a little bit of a lull, and started uh, just you know pitching this to the to the grass clumps, and put a 16 and a half in the boat. So I don't know, kind of just like junk fishing right now. I don't really have any solid pattern. Big fishing here, that's for sure. I've 
tell you, man. 12, I'm, I'll, I'll say 1215, you're gonna get a big bite. I'm Have calling you it. Caught any more fish? Have I? Yeah. Yeah, I caught one more for heat for a limit. I've only had three, uh, three fish. I took this whole thing of, uh, and I got two bites. I Got about whew, got about two hours left before I have to check in, and uh, I, I got an okay lemon. I got like 49, 50 inches, I think. But um, yeah, I mean, I definitely need a big bite, at least one big bite, preferably two big bites. Um, I got to get rid of my 15 and a half and my 16 and a half. But uh, you know, I've kind of gone throughout the lake and the only thing I've really liked is the thing I started on, this little stretch I started on, not just because of the fish I caught, but seeing other people catch fish too. So I think, you know, this is the area I have the most confidence in as far as knowing there's fish here at this point. So I'm going to finish out my day here and work my way back to the um, check-in and uh, hopefully run into a big one or two. Take that baby all day long. That's a toad. So it's funny, things things weren't looking too great, but that fish right there just called me five inches. And now I'm one fish away from probably being in contention to taking this thing. So one more big bite away in my mind. back here in the most unlikely of places toads eight inches of water toad city back here all right guys final hour 
Um, I, I, I truly believe I'm one big bite away from, you know, having a chance. I, like I said, I think it's going to take 60, easy, today to win, and I'm just shy of 60. I think I'm like 58 or something like that, 58 inches. So I'm going to need that like 20 inch bite, 20 plus inch bite, and that would give me a lot of confidence going into uh, check-in. So hour left, let's see what happens. Good one too. I caught fish early on the frog and not a lot, only three fish. And I culled one of them out by fishing the middle of the deepest areas with the 12 inch worm. And so I culled one fish at a 59 and a half. My last bite, or last bite was 7.30 and then the next bite after that was like 11.30. So very tough fishing in between, but it was all worth it. I think it went great, man. I couldn't be more pleased with the results. We had 20 anglers out here today, all you know, fighting for the Kelsey Bass Ranch membership. We gave out some great prizes. Uh, it was so neat to see the winner, such a gracious person, and uh, very thankful for the opportunity. So it could not have gone to a better person. Um, you know, we, thank you to all the sponsors that came out and supported this event. It's not going to be possible to do that without the great help from our sponsors and everyone involved. And then as well, uh, just, you know, stay tuned to Motherload Kayak Angler Facebook page. There's some big things coming in the near future. Just, this is just the start.